Hey, what's up, everybody? It's time for another comic book related video. And today's video is going to be a new series on my channel, which I teach you something about comic books that you probably don't know, which I'm calling You're About to Learn Something. Let's get it and let's go! Alright, so today we are going to teach you of the person who is in the upcoming movie Captain America The Winter Soldier, James Barnes, aka Bucky Barnes. So, he was the son of a tra a training soldier who died tragically and was unofficially adopted by the soldier's camp and he became their mascot and they named him Bucky. Bucky was somewhat, he was a teenager at the time and he wore a uni his father's uniform which was kind of not his size and he was just he became, he knew the ins and outs of military life, even though he was only 15 years old. Around this time, he befriended Colonel Steve Rogers, who happened to be the clumsiest of all the people in the camp. Around this time when he befriended Steve Rogers, there was the reports of a man fighting the Nazis named Captain America. And after this, he became obsessed with Captain America. And actually, later on, he actually walked in on Steve Rogers, changing in to the costume of Captain America. When he sees this, he demands to be with him. He demands he needs to be with Steve Rogers and be his partner in battling evil forces. So, Steve Rogers then trains Bucky to be his partner. And when he does train him, they come together as a team. They fight the Nazis on the in, on, at home and overseas. And during a mission trying to fight Baron Zemo, a Captain America villain, Cap Captain and Bucky are trying to de deactivate a bomb, and Bucky gets there first and tries to disarm it, but he does not do it. And it, as a result of this, the bomb goes off and it doesn't meet its target, but because of the explosion, Bucky is killed in action and Steve Rogers is, is thrown from the explosion and frozen, where we all know he was de -thawed and became an Avenger later in his life. All right, so... When Bucky Barnes is thrown from the explosion and sent into the water, he's actually found by a, a Russian vessel and a Russian, Russian general. And they take him to back to Moscow, where they, d they have figured out that he obviously is missing his arm and he's at severe brain damage, giving him amnesia. They put him into the program Department X, where he is given the, the code name the Winter Soldier. And during his time in the... In the Department X program, he is given a metallic arm, which you can see in the movie he has, and he's also given more training on top of what Steve Rogers has given him, and they basically use him as an assassin, going on assassinations, and through these missions he becomes more and more ruthless and more disconnected from his former life. But between assassinations, he is actually put on cryogenic freeze, and... I'm going only can only assume in the new movie this is where the change is gonna happen. He's actually in the comics had a short relationship with Black Widow, so it could also be the reason why Black Widow is in the Winter Soldier movie. Not only is she possibly gonna have a relationship with Captain America, but it could also be brought up that in her past that she was in a relationship with Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, and she may recognize him. But that is it. The Winter Soldier is Bucky Barnes, and he is a, a, an assassin that is put on ice over and over again, and I can only assume in the movie that he is brought out to assassinate Captain America, and this is where we get the Winter Soldier in the movie. And that is about it. If you didn't know this before, you know now. And if you did know, well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, rate, and subscribe to, this, to me on my channel because I'm just that awesome and if there's any anything that you wish you think that you don't know about comics and you wanted me to explain it to you I will because I'm entertaining like that but anyway I'm the comic addict and 
I am signing off.